Okay, this is what you'll need. Flathead, smaller screwdriver. And a Phillips zero zero screwdriver. And a pin, a bin to hold screws. Alright, over here, we have our PSP 2000. Simply all you have to do to disassemble it is I'll take the battery out right here. There's going to be this tape right here that you take off. And underneath there, there's going to be one screw right there, one right there, one up there, and it's all for that side. And over here, there's one right there, one there. And if you rotate the PSP, there's one right there, one right there, and on the bottom there. This is PSP 2000. Make sure that you have no games inside the PSP. I've already taken mine out. Alright, let's get to this. Alright, to take the screen off, you just wiggle this thing, then you push it over there, and then you have that off. Those are your home keys, volume keys, etc. And to get the screen off, you just kind of wiggle a little bit, maybe from this side, and it will pop off. Under here, I've already taken that one off, but there's going to be this clip right there all you're going to do is flip them up and then see right now just flip it up slides right out there you have your screen just set that aside over here you might notice that there's none of the middle things those are right there, I've already taken them out. And the speaker pieces, and the pieces for the LNR buttons, which are right here. They do have one screw, as you can see, right there, and one right there. You need to take those out if you want to take maybe the buttons off X, triangle, over here all your directional buttons alright I want to tell you this one right here is for the eye this one is for your home and volume just flip that one up too there we go and you just take that out but this one right here this is different there's little piece right there that you have to slide back and one on this end I'll show you right now okay you just take it right here slide that one right there slide that one make sure they're both slid out all the way or you don't want to mess up these pieces have to replace a new eye alright you take that out also this one right here is also for the eye that one is the information this is to get the power also, this is the information for the screen. This is the power for the... Oh, I'm sorry. That's the power for the screen right there. That's the information. This is for the information for the eye. This is the power for the eye. Take that piece out after you unclip that. Alright, we'll set it back down on the ground here. Over here, for your X buttons and stuff, there's also one clip. Very easy to remove. And you just take the thing out, rotate it up, and if this is really all you need to do, there's one speaker there, you don't really need to take anything else out farther for this, you can just flip it over that way. Alright, if you're looking to take out 
your joystick, there's one screw right there. That's all you need. Take that out, slides right out. Real easy process. Alright. Over here, there's also one thing you have to move up. Very easy. This is for your directional buttons. Alright, this, this right here, though, is the more complicated part. This piece right here is for a couple other things. You might want to get your screwdriver under there, take it up. Kind of hard to take out with your fingernails. Alright, then this one right here is for the charger. You just kind of stick your flathead screwdriver in there, pry a little bit, twist it, get a gap, and you just pull on the wire. Maybe not pull on the wire if you have some fingernails. But you could do that. Just cut mine. It's for the charger right there. You can see the wire goes there. Alright. If you're looking to take off directional buttons, there's one piece right there. You just snap it over and then take the wire out there. Alright. Let's get this back up. Then take out the motherboard. There's no other screws except for one screw that was right there. I already took out. And then you want to make sure you don't break the USB. So you kind of wiggle it this way. Oh, I forgot to take out the bat, the speaker. This one, you just move this little plastic piece right here over, and then the, bat, the speaker slides right, clips right out. There you have your speaker. You want to just place it over here. Now the motherboard will slide right out. There's your motherboard. Memory stick processors on here, a bunch of little things. Try to keep this in a more cooler place. You don't want to get it too hot. Might mess it up. Also with the screen. Alright. Then, um, I'm not going to take the joystick out. I already told you how to do that. Pretty much, it's disassembled now. As you can see. Back here, if you want to take out the eye. Alright. Oh yes, I forgot about this piece right here. It goes right along this strip right there in the front of the PSP on the top. Alright, for this, there's two rubber pieces in there. See right there? And one right there. Alright, you just click the rubber squares out. Right there. Alright. Click this, move it out. Try not to lose those. It's kind of a pain if you lose them. Then this little piece comes out. There you have it. This, mm, you'll probably break it taking off. I, I've taken apart a lot of these. Break it every time. There's four screws. You're gonna you're gonna need a good screwdriver for this. You don't want to strip these out. You'll never get it back out. It takes a lot of pressure to turn these. You really you want to push and push really hard. All right. Then that's how you take that out. We have already disconnected the cable right there and the cable over here. And that's that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.